How's it going? This is the 30-day MST3K challenge where me, I am the real Manos, and I answer a question about MST3K every day for 30 days. This is how I'm celebrating the 30th anniversary of Mystery Science Theater 3000, and also its premiere of Season 12. It's coming up uh, this month, so yeah, I'm all in with the, the geekiness on this. So, we're going to get started. So, Lindsay, what's today's question? What is your favorite kaiju episode? I'm going to have to say Godzilla versus Megalon. That one is one of those episodes that from like frame one of the episode to the stinger is just absolutely uh, a joy to watch. It's an easy episode to get new fans in on because uh, it's a Godzilla film. It's fun, bouncy. There's a lot of good quips. Uh, it just never stops being funny. Uh, all the jokes about the annoying kid uh, are, are absolutely terrific. Um, there is, uh, geez, I mean, Joel has really good uh, back and forth with uh, the robots. And that's also the one where Godzilla just jumps and he's sort of like in this weird, you know, this weird like, which does not make any physical sense whatsoever. Uh, matter of fact, Godzilla did this another dumb thing where he like uh, I think it's the Smog Monster episode or Hedera, where he blows his like uh, atomic breath and like propels him up in the air. Um, he ain't camera, you know. I know there was probably uh, pressure or at least an influence, like oh we should jump on this camera thing that all the kids are talking about to make sure he's still hip with the kids. No, no, no. Like, be God, Godzilla, be Godzilla. And, yeah, that one is just absolutely wonderful. I can watch it 80 billion times. It's, of course, one of the more elusive episodes with Ko because Toho is kind of the Disney of Japan where they're super protective of their properties. So, I don't know. I don't think it's available right now in, uh, through Shout Factory. But, uh, hey, you know, where there's an internet, there's a way. So I do recommend checking the episode out for more available episodes. Uh, the Goro one is really good. Uh, Goro, in and of itself, is a pretty good movie. Um, it's a little dry, and oh, excuse me, Goro, uh, Gorgo, excuse me. Um, in and of itself, it's a pretty good movie. It's a little dry for the first, I don't know, hour. But I mean, when Gorgo finally shows up and starts destroying London. Uh, it's great. And also, there's no women in it, which is weird. It's one of those weird things that's like, there's something odd about this film, and I can't really place it. And then they mention it at the end of the episode, hey, there's no women in the movie. <laughs> and, and they go, ah, no. Uh, and then they do have that wonderful like, little segment where they go, see this woman in this extra piece right here? She was a great character. Um, yeah, that's really strange. Uh, Gorka would be uh, a cool, like, a... Uh, film to remake, uh, provided they remember the other half of the population exists, and maybe make the first part kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, uh, Godzilla vs. Megalon is just one of those handful of episodes that are just perfect. Uh, so what do you think? What's your favorite kaiju episode? Uh, list a comment uh, below. Tell me if you agree with me or think I'm full of crap. Uh, also, you can uh, hit me up on uh, Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at the Romanos. I'm on Facebook. Uh, you can support this channel with uh, Patreon. And Red Knight is coming back soon, folks. So uh, get to it uh, as far as, I don't know, supporting me on Facebook. All right, I think that's it uh, with the whole uh, video and stuff. So push the button, Lindsay. I can't update nobody likes me.